Hello, brothers and sisters of the land. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under 10 minutes. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, or insults, you'll put it down below. And I will eventually get back to your video and make it. And also do a roast stress and burn your ass alive. You could be a highly attractive motherfucker and I have something to say. I got shit to say for your ass. But you gotta have a video or a picture at least. And it better be a real picture. Well, I might not even do it because you might it might be a fake picture, okay? <laughs> if you don't be on the internet too much, then there's no reason for he having a roast fest. You're just trying to hurt my feelings. <laughs> but this video is going to be about what I was talking about before. How I approach and how I, you know, talk to black women, okay? How I respond to black women ever since that one time, okay? Well, I, just, I always repeat myself, but I will talk about, I do talk about different subjects. But this seems like a very popular, personal thing for every type of uh, black man, okay, or black woman out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, I'm, now I'm starting to say what you know what I'm saying, and you don't know what I'm saying, okay? It's like, it's like a disease or something like that. Sometimes in my some of my videos, I don't say you know what I'm saying, okay? I don't know why, but um, I'm talking to all beautiful beings in this world, okay? Species in between that can be seen and not be seen: fairies, ghosts. Fucking ponies, okay. Flying pigs, if it's possible, to another world and another dimension, okay. Time and space. Now, this video is going to be about how I treat black women. This is how I, I went about it. When I was in high school, okay, West now High, Western House High, you know, Homewood. I was there. They called me Big M, Big M, Big M, because I always walked in the hall with two women, and my teeth was fucked up, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, yo, I didn't know what pussy was, okay. Only thing I knew was like I seen some porn and I started masturbating. That's that's the beginning of the fucking end. <laughs> Cause I wear glasses. You saw my glasses in my past video. Some people take me tell me to take my glasses off, and some people tell me get rid of that mole. I said no, I like that mole. I went to jail and niggas like that shit. It was like oh you look like a thog, motherfucker. I look like a thog, a dog. <laughs> so I said nah, I don't get rid of the mole. But I'm just like, so I'm walking, I'm walking around seeing all these big booties walking around in high school and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, yo, I was ignorant as hell. I was this naive. And then I started realizing, having to look back on it, I can remember. I, I, I was like, how old was I? Like 21 or 22? That's when the time when a man be committing suicide. Probably even younger than that. But that's when you don't have no knowledge, man. I was in the library talking to black Negro thugs, okay? You know what I'm saying? Niggas was shooting in Homewood and shit. That was where I was at, okay? Yeah, that's where I was at. Then I met this one girl. She had a big old booty. She had no titties and shit. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to treat her. She was in a Muslim community and shit. I didn't know what the mosque was. She was educating, trying to lure me there and shit. I was ignorant during those days. Okay? But long story short, she 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 crushed me. She was like she did a, a major damage effect on me. And I was thinking about I better get that hell out of here. I want to get that hell out of here. I was going to be like the Chinese. You know, the stats of the Chinese is phenomenally high. So overall, though, in the whole world, men actually commit and attempt and do suicide. It's the highest upon highest, okay? It's sad, okay? But that's a, that's a, that's a great, terrible statistic, okay? I didn't want to see it. I, I know why. I've seen the reason why. It's just two alone. They played it to me, goddamn video games, and they stuck in their little box room. And then I realized, that as I was thinking, contemplating, you know, um... That being committing suicide, I was like, there's some guy came through the hallway and saved my life. He said, yeah, now I knew, I knew he was a devil because that motherfucker got pussy. I know he got pussy. I think he was an athlete. Yeah, he was a basketball player or something like that. And he said, yo, I don't remember you, nigga. You, you, you crying and stuff. Are you crying? Cause it's about to be graduation time. My girl already left me. She went to the prom with some other nigga and shit like that. And I was like, yo, you know how to talk? You, why don't you read up on women? He told me. I was like, yo, you know, I was like, yo. You read up on women. Just, just read up all the pimps and shit. That's all you need to do, man. You get the money, get the power, get the respect. I said, so I started reading all that shit. I was like, yo, I said, it was, it was a long time. I was like, oh, I got to come up. So it's best for me to masturbate until I achieve and test my theories. Okay? And that shit worked. It worked. First, you got to be humorous. You got to know how to make a female laugh. You got to have the look. You got to smell good. Okay? Your teeth got to. I, I, my teeth was fucked up and I was still getting chicks, though. Yeah, yeah. So my teeth is fixed. Okay? You, my teeth used to be. Gat, you see my daughter's teeth, she's kind of gat. It was like that, okay? I had a space between my teeth. I had everything fixed up. I was like, yo, a chick told me how to fix my teeth. Girl, I used to know. I was, I'm, it's completely fucking ignorant. This, all, I would, all I would deal with was females, okay? I'd never really and truly been truly disrespected by women. I never been, maybe because of my parents, okay? Now, I remember I was talking to this one chick and she was running me over her house and stuff like that, seeing her son and stuff like that. She wanted me to do it in her bed and stuff like that. She wanted me to do everywhere. I say, no, I don't want to do that now. 
I was kind of shy. But anyhow, as I was growing up, I was like, wait a minute. Instead of trying to commit suicide, read up on the bitches, get my parents up, get my charm up, get my confidence level up, and be simple about it. Don't even, it's no need to have a conversation with women. You don't do that. Now, unless you want to make babies with her because her booty's that nice. She got a diamond in her belly button and shit. It's all stereotypicals, baby. It's nothing but patterns. Everything's like a pattern, like a fucking video game. That's all I was doing, playing video games and masturbating. That's what a lot of white guys do. That's a lot of nice, intelligent black guys do too, right? Right, right, right. So, so as I was reading, I was like, yo, I said, I said, I, I, this is how, I, it's, there's different ways of approaching women. So the, the, the best way to approach women is the suit and tie, my thought. I would go downtown and shit, walk like I got, I got, I had big toes and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I started learning about what the dildo is and shit like that, you know? Right? You get the dildo, the black dildo. Because you know how some people say, are you packing? I said, I'm packing. I said, yeah, no, I just want to take you out and see your titties or something like that. You know, I want to, I got the baby oil in my bag. You pull out the baby oil, you're like, oh, this motherfucker nasty as fuck, right? Right? You got to have, if you have something to talk about, they don't like to talk. So these bitches don't like to talk, man. These bitches don't like to talk. What the fuck they like to talk about? They don't want to listen to you. They, all they thinking about, what are you going to do for them, okay? So if they thinking like that, you know, all you got to do is take them to McDonald's and tell them, can you go over to their house? You need your own place, y'all. You need your own place. You can't do shit without your own place or a hotel or some money. You can't really get no pussy. Now, now there's a lot of niggas. There's a lot of rumors I be hearing. Niggas be fucking in the alleyways and shit like that. I'm like, hey, I want to do that shit. But you be catching STD? You can't see the pussy? Me, I'm a... When I was watching porn, this is what I learned, man. I watch porn, I see, I see nothing but flashlights right on it. The light, that high beam strobe light, you know what I'm saying? And you be like, yeah, I want to see it, I want to see it. I've never fucked in the dark in my life, okay? One female wanted to fuck in the dark. I had to see it, I said, no, I can't do that. That's fucking disgusting. Anybody who fucks in it, you're a nasty motherfucker. You are a nasty. You can't see the pussy, you can't. What if she got herpes or some shit? What if she got fucking warts? Huh? What if she got warts you can't see it? What if you stick your fucking tongue down here and you get to... <laughs> no! And then you got, you got bumps. Yeah. 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 What is it? Mommy, please. Mommy at work. <laughs> mommy at work. I gotta get you another mommy. <laughs> look, look, look how the way she, she treats. She's trying to distract me. <laughs> What? Go ahead. <laughs> but anyhow, I say I, I got some nasty motherfucker. You doing that shit? I have never, I have never done that in my life. I was gonna do it one time. I was like, nah, I gotta see. I gotta see. Okay. And then I say, wait a minute. I'm gonna have to stick my penis in this dirty bitch. And then so later on in my life, I realized what condoms and there's an effect on what condoms do to the man's penis and also what it does to the woman's body. Okay. You need drink. You need your, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. She want to be held. So I'm like, damn, I, then I found out, I went to the, the nudie stores and shit. The nudie stores have big old penises. Somehow I go there, I'll be thinking I'm going to pick up some chicks in a fucking uh, XX rated store or some shit. You know why I find Hustler magazines and, 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 and Playboy mansions and, 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 and all sorts of magazines to see some more titties and, and hairy pussies, okay? I'm like, wait a minute. Is there another way of fucking these chicks? Yes, there is. It's the dildo. Go look at my other video with the dildo fucking. Because <laughs> sometimes some people will ask me. I say, hey, you know, are you packing? Are you packing? Say, hell yeah, I'm packing. I always, I used to, I used to be the nigga that was carrying my backpack with the glasses on. Y'all don't remember me? If you, ever, if you ever see a dude, I know you. This, I'm like one of the dime of the dozen. But if uh, if you ever see a guy. Any man with glasses on, he's carrying a backpack, and it seems peculiar, kind of straight, something strange about it. He probably carrying a dildo, because I used to talk to a whole bunch of dudes. It's like, are you smart, right? Carry a dildo, wink, wink. You know what I mean? You know, you packing a strap-on fucking dildo? That shit ain't no joke, man. There's different types of dildos. You can stick your dick in the fucking dildo and as in a mold or some shit like, and then start fucking, and then you could you could set up something inside of the dildo to, to erupt inside of her pussy. And you be like, damn, that shit feel good. And she feel good too, right? It doesn't matter how big that pussy is. Okay? Well, you know how women pussies be changing and shit? <laughs> shit, I've read. I've read so much shit. That's a prostitution shit. You go into the club and you get your dick sucked. But you, you got, you, it's better to get your dick sucked raw 
than to get the fake dildo dick sucked. <laughs> I don't go in those clubs. One time I went to a nudie bar, okay, a strip club. The first time I went in that motherfucker, I embarrassed my motherfucking self. I went in that motherfucker, sat right in the motherfucking front. And you know what you're supposed to do when you sit right in the front. I sat up there looking at all these pretty fucking girls. It was only, it's only two girls out of 13 girls I saw. He allowed me to watch at least 13 girls. And the two, what, the two girls I saw, it was a white, white, young white chick. She was a Caucasoid female. She looked like a baby skin. She was like, I wanted to get that, man. She was the best. All the other females I didn't like because they had, they had, they had bellies or some shit. They had a little fat on their body. I don't like females with fat on their body. Because I didn't have no fat on my body. I got a six pack. So why would I want to imagine my six pack on top of a fat belly? <laughs> so I seen this white little chick. I was like, you who the fuck is? And he did not try to put my hand up there. He said, you can't, you can't touch the girl. I said, oh, I didn't know that shit. I didn't know that shit. There was a black chick that was fine, but she wasn't as pretty as the white chick I saw. She was short, like 5'2 or some shit like that. I think her name was Lollipop or some shit. I don't know her name. And then as I sat there for a while, a man came up to me. I think he was the manager. He was like, hey, you know you're supposed to throw some money up there, right? <laughs> I said, I didn't know I had no money. I just wanted to for fucking free. <laughs> You gotta buy a drink or something, man. You can't you sit up there and just be drooling and shit. I said, oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here, then. I said, okay. <laughs> That's how that shit worked. I never went back in there ever in my fucking life again. I said, yo, man, I didn't know you wasn't going to go to the, the duty bar place and, you know, just throw some dollars up there and stuff like that. Well, anyhow, I talk to women respectfully. I make them smile. I give them a second, okay? I don't, I don't really say too much. You walk up to, like, there's three ways that I did it. I changed my way to the thug. I would wear a mask or some shit like that. And then I'll, I'll, I'll scare him and say, hey, what you doing? I'm a thief in the night. I just say some crazy shit. I know this coming. I said, I like something on you. You got a belly button. And I'll cover my face. I okay? portion of my face. I wear a mask. Okay. And then I wear some nice clothes. And I said, here's my number. You call me. Okay. If you call me, then we're going to get it on because I'm packing. And I got my own. Okay. We're going to go somewhere. And you might be my woman. Okay. Or sometimes I, 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 I wear a shirt, shirt and suit and tie, okay? I don't really wear the suit. I just wear a shirt and tie, okay? And I would just tell them, like, straight. I'd be straight legit. And I always make them smile each each time. And the third time, I try to be myself, okay? Wear the glasses and shit like that. But that usually doesn't work, okay? <laughs> Wearing glasses is a deterrent for most women, okay? That's a fucking fact, okay? Unless you're, like, six foot two or some shit. Because like females talk to me all the time. They, they like to run their mouth. But it's, like, irrelevant type of shit, okay? Okay, trust me. It's irrelevant. All of it... 90% of what most women talk about is irrelevant because it's not based off a of fact, okay? It's just based off of something how they feel, okay? They don't know how to correct their feelings. They, they're not interested in that shit. You can't tell them how to correct their feelings, especially black chicks. The more raunchier of a black chick that you're talking to, okay? Because me, I don't need to pay them. I don't do all that shit like Tommy Wiseau and, Ty and Tyreek Nishi. I, I never did that. After I started reading about females, it was so easy. It's so fucking easy. You just have to have the charm to do it, okay? I don't get mad. I'm not mad at black chicks. Okay. I can go out there. So I, I have plenty of opportunities to, to drop my daughter off here alone and just go right downtown. But I ain't doing that because I'm being the real McCoy. I'm the real McCoy. I got a daughter. I can't be going out there. She see me going. I say, where you going, Daddy? Where you going? I said, I'm trying to look for you another mother. And she said, we already got another mother right here. I said, she ain't treat me right. So we got to do something. We got to compromise. She can't go nowhere. She trapped in this motherfucking country. Okay. The only thing she can do is uh, re uh, reactivate her fucking... Uh, cash cow her green card and I can rip that shit up and she needs that shit that shit is mine rip that shit up she gotta pay $500 and shit that's my shit I pay for that shit I got her out here by talking I just made a video I made a video just like this send it to her okay she listened to it I said listen to it very carefully if you don't understand something just ask me I will talk real slow okay you know what I'm saying real nice when I take, the, take females out and they do go with me I go take them to McDonald's I never I used to take females to fucking Great Lobster actually I used to do that I used to do some simple like that I used to do some shit like that, y'all. Don't, don't get me wrong. I was one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I was never taught. I didn't have a daddy in my life to tell me don't pay, don't pay over $20 for a fucking dish. I used to be doing that shit. I thought I was going to get some ass. I thought I was going to get some ass and I didn't get none. So, set. Okay. So then one time I went to a TGI Fridays with this light-skinned Milano chick and she told me, you going to pay? I said, I ain't paying for shit now. I ain't, no, no. I ain't going to see no titty nipples, no nothing. And you want me to pay, pay everything? And you want to be equal? I'll be asking bitches all sorts of questions. You, are, are you a Christian? That's the first question you ask. So you can literally destroy them. 
The second question is, is that you're a virgin? That's the second question. Actually, you could ask that first. Go buy some bursar. And then you ask them, oh, do you got any kids? Okay. Then you ask them another question. You got male boyfriends in your phone. If they fail those questions, you might as well put that bitch on the back burner. You don't even go down the long list of fucking things. You just ask them a few questions, but they'll know automatically you're the, you're the real you're the real McCoy. They'll know automatically you're the real McCoy. They can't even give up something, and that's called pussy. I <laughs> said, so you don't want to. I remember I met this girl named, uh, that, I ain't going to say her name. I was about to say her name, Sheikah. I'm going to say Sheikah in short. I went up to this broad, and she was dating this this white guy. He was like a razor cutter. He cut himself for some shit, some white guy he was, she was with. I said, what's your black Milano ass doing with this white guy here? I walked, I drove up to her on my car. You got to have a car in your own place at least. Don't want to catch the bus. Women don't want to catch the bus. I said, your titties are nice, man. Get in my car, man. Where, where you going with your daughter? Where are you going, eh? Okay? And she got into my car. I said, I don't care if you got a boyfriend. I just want to suck on him or something. She stayed over my house for a week. Sucked on the titties, seen her, played with her and all that stuff. And she watched video games, Dante's and Birdo and shit. She got scared of that fucking game. You, you understand how it works? You talk, you talk less. You ask them, the first time you talk to females, you ask a few questions. If they're a fella, you might as well stop, okay? They ain't no virgin, right? And they, they're Christian, right? Okay, okay, you're supposed to serve me. Because all women who say they're Christians, they're supposed to serve their man. And they ain't down with that shit. Most independent women ain't down with that Christian shit, okay? <laughs> now my daughter's sleeping. You sleeping? Good night. Good night. You always talk with respect with black women. I've never had a girl, like, get her cousin or some shit like that on me. Like, I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker, or some shit. I had a little fight with this one girl. She called her Moonface and shit, you know. She threw a rock at me because I, I broke her uh, her bell off her fucking thing because she had uh, did some crazy shit. Because if you do some shit to me, I usually warn you in advance. If you piss me off, I'll do some crazy shit, man, to you. It'd just be me and you. That's it. We, it's just me and you. I'm gonna get you. If, if your cousin fucks me up. I'm coming after you. I'm not going to court. I usually tell, I give people that kind of fear. They know that you don't fuck with me and I'm, I'm being nice. I usually tell them, I say, I'm not the type. I'm kind of crazy. And the conversation is over. I keep it, I keep it cut, hush, hush. Keep it quiet. You know what I'm saying? Keep it quiet. Keep it simple. Keep it sweet. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. And I never play as the main boyfriend. That's the secret too. I use the dildo. Come on. I use the dildo. I'm not interested in being with these females. American women are the most pathetic in the world. You have to, you actually, men have to actually go. I'm talking about both sides, men and women. It doesn't matter, okay? The more beautiful you go, the more shit you're going to have. That's common sense, you know? That's common sense, duh. Okay? Now, you go white women, they might be nice for a while. That shit don't last. That shit don't last. That's facade. That shit, you better find out about the parents. Act, then ask them all one questions. If the parents are butt-ass ugly, you put her on the back burner, too. If you don't care about the back burner, if you don't care about the looking at the parents, you 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 screwing yourself half of the time. Because when that bitch get older, she, if I was fat, I would work the fuck out. Okay, if I had a small ass dick, I would just carry a dildo. Okay, but other than that, my dick ain't small. <laughs> I just didn't want to catch no diseases. <laughs> but other than that, I'll say, hey, wait, wait, let me see. What else is there to talk about? I'm gonna talk for 20 minutes, and that's it. How I treat black women. I treat black women with the utmost respect. Everybody loves black women. That's why they got so many motherfucking kids. They're the most attractive in the motherfucking world, right? But you ain't see white women too much. Trailer park trash. You don't see that shit no more because they know the white men don't want to disrespect their black, well, their white woman, okay? You know, Eminem talked about his mom, you see? You don't want to talk about white women. They're nasty. They fuck with animals and shit. Black women don't fuck with animals, okay? <laughs> I know. I talked to a couple white chicks. And they was into animals, licking dog lick. You ever heard about the dogs? The dogs licking the pussies? <laughs> Somebody make a video on that shit. I, want, I have not seen that shit too much on the fucking YouTube. Come on, y'all. Talk about some shit. Y'all boring as hell. Okay, man. <laughs> I love white women, though. But I, I just know the hair fall out faster. They age kind of too fast for me, baby. I'm 42 years old. I can keep up with the young bucks on basketball. And sometimes I play with my cousin, and I beat his ass sometimes. Sometimes, 30% of the time. 100% of the time, I beat him like 30 to 40%. percent i be playing hard. And i be like, damn, you young. Say, hey, keep yourself in shape. Keep the dick going up. You know, as you, you jelk up to the sky. You jelk up to the sky. And I love you all, brothers and sisters. Y'all guys, y'all guys. When, when a man is alone, they got it made. When a woman's alone, I feel sorry for most of y'all. 
Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark peace.